guys, Sherry here from the Fox Giving Crew. How's it going? So I'm just going to be doing an energy update. Uh, current until October the 28th. So Twin Flame reading. I'm going to be using the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart for the masculine. So I'll pull the cards first and I'll go through the positions. Make sure I got everything in. And of course, the John Holland Psychic Tarot for the feminine side. Sorry, guys, I'm not sure why it's so orange. It's strange. Okay. And let's see here. Should we do some reading today? So I'll use my cards for clarifiers. The Six of Swords just dropped out. So I will use Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Darren Reed um, for the Union Energy. Oh, it's so weird that it's so orange. Okay, so beginning with the feminine side, um, her past position is base chakra. So this is a feeling of safety, security, um, feeling grounded. So it is the lowest chakra. So the feminine, um, I usually see this as lacking um, when I see a lower vibration like this. So the feminine her safety has been, um, you know, hampered with, I don't know. I'm at a loss for words to, today for some reason. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So we have two threes here with a Knight of Cups in the middle. So the Three of Pentacles is a firm foundation, feeling grounded. So in the past, she felt stable. She felt... Um, you know, like there was momentum. Um, this card usually means putting plans and work and effort into manifesting security for the future. So that's been on her mind. Um, the Knight of Cups in the present position is moving forward towards love, offering your love to somebody. So either somebody offered their love to the feminine or the feminine moved forward and offered her life love to the masculine even though there's this sense of not feeling safe not feeling fully grounded um, she went ahead and did it anyways or vice versa the three of wands is more of an uh, it's exciting energy it's enthusiasm feeling like you're starting to manifest things into your reality, um, you know, it's forming partnerships with other people, um, and it's a thumbs up from the universe. So I'm feeling a lower vibration, definitely, but hope and optimism for the future. Um, but, you know, the feminine doesn't feel quite safe in the loving connection that she's in right now with the masculine. Um, yeah, okay, so what is in the past position for the, the masculine? Awaiting results, seven pentacles. So it is a very rooted energy. 
as you can see, this person is rooted like a tree. So they're waiting for harvest. They're waiting for something to be, you know, to return or a payoff. So if you notice, the energy is facing away from the connection. So the masculine has been consumed with um, preparing or doing things in the 3D reality. Um, so his attention has been placed elsewhere. And so the feminine is picking up on that vibration, you know, and feeling, you know, maybe she did the desires, you know, the masculine to move forward and, and offer love towards her. Um, but she doesn't feel safe for some reason. The Nine of Pentacles, the Universe card, and the Two of Pentacles. So, Nine of Pentacles, past position. This is very grounded energy, feeling successful, independent. It's being ready, ripeness. It is harvest. So, in the past, the masculine has put a lot of work and effort into the 3D reality, but also he feels like he's attained um, this foundation, this structure. Um, and, you know, there's a sense of a flow of abundance coming into his life, and he has enough in order to look after himself. So he's still waiting for something, or he was waiting for something in the past, but it seems to me that a major cycle has come to completion with the universe or world card here. This is the end of the fool's journey. So it's a major accomplishment. Um, so this could be a cycle um, from 20 years up to a lifetime. So yeah, some major change or completion has happened for the masculine. The wait is over now, right? And so when the fool's journey ends, it begins again. So we can see that out here with the Two of Pentacles. This is a new start. There's a sense that the masculine has really done a lot of work. And he did it so that he can um, begin a new life with the Two of Pentacles. This is the a seed of intention being set. And then it takes root. And as it takes root and changes the environment, the sense of feeling unsteady, being pulled in different directions, so this is a card of being resilient. So it's coming in the future, so it may not have happened yet. Um, so a lot of very rooted energy in, in the three cards here. Very grounded, very rooted. Um, his attention has been elsewhere in the 3D reality. And um, it's so that a major cycle can come to completion. So what's in the feminine's present position? Very nice. The Empress... So the feminine, as a collective, are feeling very rooted as well. You can see she is a tree. Um, it is earth energy. So she is all about manifestation. She's about creativity and feminine energy, obviously, yin. So she is in a receptive mode um, and holding space. Her heart chakra is wide open, the goddess of love. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So Seven of Pentacles, past position, cool synchronicity, same card. Here it's kind of a masculine, or I don't know, it looks masculine. No, she's wearing a dress. Um, so here, in the Seven of Pentacles, same idea, waiting. Um, waiting for the ships to return, waiting for um, harvest, waiting... Um, for word from somebody. So it's the gestation period. So the feminine has come out of a restriction or this is about contemplation as well. It's reviewing and evaluating the past. Um, you know, it's considering where you're going to invest your time and energy as well. So the five of pentacles, a lot of um, pentacle action here, which is 3D earthly energy. So the focus seems to be heavily on the 3D reality um, so far. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles is feeling disconnected, feeling left out in the cold, feeling alone. 
So either the feminine has disconnected from the masculine or she feels left out or she feels um, maybe she needs to make a sacrifice in order to gain her freedom. freedom. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the Eight of Cups is in the future position. So this is moving on. This is um, moving away from an emotionally draining situation. So there's a sense that the feminine has been waiting and is releasing herself from that exhaustive waiting um, and moving on to you know a, a more spiritual more self-loving um, environment okay so what is in the masculine's present seven of cups daydreams and decisions so this is knowing what you want but not knowing how to get there so it's having a lot of choices so the masculine has is currently turned within his his attention is in you know trying to consider his options he needs to choose something or he needs to choose a path um, so this is a card about using your heart to guide you two sevens by the way so the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Star card. So past position, Page of Cups, communication of love. is a brand new beginning of love and wanting to express that. So either the masculine has been sending out loving um, communication to the feminine or desiring to communicate, but, you know, it's... This communication is weighing heavily on his mind at the moment. Um, the Queen of Cups, um, these are both water energies. Um, I'm not seeing the, these as directly as water signs anymore. I'm more interested in the energy that it's providing. So the Queen of Cups is someone who is very deeply loving, intuitive, um, and cares for people. So. She represents unconditional love, the queen of love. And over here we have the goddess of love. So the masculine, he's thinking about the feminine at this moment. And he's thinking about how much he loves her and wants to be with her. But he doesn't know exactly how to get there. Or he's maybe thinking that all of this may have been an illusion. You know, this card is also about um, daydreams, right? So, yeah, he, but he's thinking with his heart. This is all water, which is um, emotions and love. So the future position is the star card. So this is wishes being granted. Um, this is also a card of healing. So... You know, it's offering hope that the worst is over now. So he's healing from a, probably a communication that took place in the past. Um, it caused him some confusion. He thought he knew his direction, um, but he's regaining his balance at the moment. Okay. So the near future for the feminine is rest and rejuvenation for swords. So we have the eight of cups in the future, present future, near future is, you know, the four swords, which is retreating, finding stillness and quiet in order to heal your heart. So even though the feminine is in a disconnected, waiting, longing, feeling alone, energy she's still projecting this empress energy right she is even though she feels that her heart is being tugged at she is still in a loving space um, but there's a sense that she needs to retreat to heal herself um, there's negative thoughts that keep creeping in so here she is finding that rest and looking after herself the devil Six of Swords, Eight of Wands. Okay, so in the near future, um, something from the past is going to come back to haunt her. Um, so the devil is a chain, codependent relationship, an addiction, self-limiting beliefs. So 
she hasn't fully released this devil energy, which she will be doing in the near future. So the Six of Swords is moving on from that as well. A lot of moving on. So it could even just be movement away from the ego, right? There's this head trip that seems to be pulling the feminine, um, tugging at her mind, right? And um, obviously it's ego. So Six of Swords is moving to a calmer state of mind, um, away from negative energy, away from negative people and into stillness okay and then the eight of wands is in the future position so this could mean communication coming in but it is it represents accelerated motion uplifting excited energy so communication could come in to the feminine um, so it's almost like stay hopeful right don't allow the past to haunt you um, you know, let go of any negative self-talk or karmic relationships, right? So the near future for the masculine is the moon confront. So he's going to be confronting his fears, his darkest fears. So this is a shadow side. Um, so this is all of those fears you have hidden, things beneath the surface. So, yeah, there's this veil of darkness that is shrouding the masculine. And um, so he has no choice but to face this in the near future. The Four of Swords. Three of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. So Four of Swords, past position. So over here we have Four of Swords as well. So in the past, the masculine has retreated, and you can definitely see that on his, that his side of the reading. He's still in that retreat mode, right? Although he has love on his mind, he's thinking about communication. He's thinking about how much he loves the feminine, um, and he desires to be with her, or or there could be their social gathering or a party or something in the near future that brings the two of them together or um, or he may just be reflecting on the good times that he's had with the feminine um, and that might motivate him to face his fears with the nine of wands in the future so the three of cups is a celebration of love it's having the heart chakra activated it's creating love between two people and then celebrating that energy so that energy bubbles up from beneath the surface, right? So even though that he's facing darkness and fear, he's doing it for love. The Nine of Wands future position is the wounded warrior. So this is being beaten down over and over and over and over again, right? And getting back up and giving it that final push. And it's spiritual strength as well. So he's going to be tested in the near future. And, um, you know, whether or not he makes it out of that fearful place is well, obviously entirely up to him, but, um, yeah. Okay, so, and over on the feminine side, it feels like she's dealt with her devil, but it keeps creeping up on her. So it's not really a test, it's more of a continual movement away from negative thoughts in emotionally drained situations okay so final come for the feminine throat chakra so communication is going to come in or she's going to speak her truth okay so you can see that inkling of communication in the near future for the feminine and in the past for the masculine so there will be communication ten of cups Wow, Queen of Wands and the Hangman. So Ten of Cups, past position. This is bliss, harmony, an abundance of love. It's just feeling this deep sense of satisfaction and completion like you made it. You know, um, being surrounded by love. So she is holding that love in her heart. And she's, you know... She's using that love to become a creator. To The Queen of Wands is somebody who's very creative, very much like the Empress. They're all about um, 
you know, art and theater and um, they're very charismatic center of attention. They love being the light. So it's like she's using this love to, to find this power of creation within herself. And she uses that to express herself. Um, but in a very charismatic way. So, or that attracts communication to her. But ultimately, in the future, we have the hangman. And so, this communication is going to switch her perspective. It's going to make her see things in a different light. But it is also asking her to let go of control and surrender. And it's very opposite energy from the Queen of Wands. You know, this is an outward expression, very fiery, very passionate, whereas the hangman is water and it's going within, letting go of a situation. So I'm going to pull a clarifier for that. What do you mean by the hangman? Actually, what do you mean by the entire cluster of cards? Integration. Integration. Interesting. So that's Temperance card. Um, and, you know, for me, it's the ultimate union card for Twin Flames. It is the soul's recombining. Um, you know, the yin, she represents the S and the yin and yang. So let me just read it real quickly here. So, conflict in man, un, sorry, the conflict is in man. Unless it is resolved there, it cannot be resolved anywhere else. The politics is within you. It is between the two parts of your mind. Okay, so the split mind, split personality, or not split personality, but split mind. Cognitive dissonance, that's what this mostly represents. And so it's a coming together of that split. Now, the hangman is a different perspective, right? So it's almost like releasing control of any kind of perspective and need to know or need, I don't know, but let's continue on. Um, a very small bridge exists. If that bridge is broken through some accident, through some physiological defect or something else, the person becomes split. The person becomes two persons. The phenomenon of schizophrenia or split personality happens. Oh, okay. Split personality. <laughs> Got it right. Anyway, um, if the bridge is broken and the bridge is very fragile, then you become two. You behave like two persons. In the morning, you're very loving, very beautiful. In the evening, you're very angry, absolutely different. You don't remember your morning. Oh my God, isn't that crazy? I said these are absolutely different. During the day, it's like you are explosive and charismatic. And, you know, on in the evening, you're completely different. You are, you know, more of an intuitive or um, an inward kind of energy. So, you don't remember your morning. How can you remember? Another mind was functioning, and the person becomes two persons. If this bridge is strengthened so much that the two minds disappear as two and become one, then integration, then crystallization arises. What George Gurdjieff used to call the crystallization of being is nothing but these two minds becoming one. The meeting of the male and the female within, the meeting of yin and yang, the meeting of left and right, the meeting of logic, logic and illogic, the meeting of Plato and Aristotle. Cool. Okay, so I think what I'm seeing here is the feminine having an epiphany um, that causes her to go within, right? There's this outward expression of this feminine. Um, it's almost like a role that she's playing that causes her to completely surrender. And it could have to do with conversation, communication of some kind, but ultimately it's leading to this re integration of the two halves of herself, the male and feminine side, right? Here we have the ego, but it is also fire, right? Very similar to um, the Queen of Wands. And then 
the hangman, water. On the other side, we have this feminine, which is represented by water. So, yeah, there's this crazy integration that happens as a result of the feminine's surrender, letting go of control. All right, so the masculine's final final outcome is manifest the magician. Wow, cards are jumping around today. Manifest, master manifester. So, you know, from the moon, from that darkness, from that fear, he overcomes and discovers his strength. So, so this is um, utilizing all of your skills, your tools, your abilities to manifest a reality that you desire. So it's a very powerful card, number one. So from this waiting, from this movement in, and then into a darkened state, it's like she, he becomes illuminated as well. Um, yeah, he discovers his power. Wow, Divine Masculine, Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So Divine Masculine, Emperor card, past position. So he definitely discovers his power, his true strength as a masculine. Um, and, you know, is in the process of creating a reality in the 3D. He starts to put a lot of work and effort into actually manifesting it, right? So he's growing it. This two of pentacles is now in uh, turned into an eight. So whatever it is that he was waiting for with the seven manifests as the eight and what i'm seeing here is a lot of soul growth that takes place as a result um you know he his crown chakra is wide open here even though he has his one foot in the 3d reality he has the other in the 5d so you know, there's this intense energy field that I see activated here. So the future position is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is movement forward. And notice how now everything's facing towards the feminine, the masculine, and the knight moving towards the feminine. Um, but this is very slow, methodical steps, one step at a time. So he takes what it is that he's been waiting for, um, I wanted to go back to the Eight of Pentacles. So this is positive movement forward, but it is gaining wealth and abundance, but putting that to work. So continuing to work on manifesting. Um, so he takes what he has gained and he continues to move forward. So the 3D reality, definitely very important to the masculine. And he gets what he desires. There's this definite change or shift that occurs in the 3D reality for him, as well as the 5D, obviously. So um, what is the feminine bringing into the union? Six of pentacles, material and spiritual prosperity. So this is feeling optimistic, feeling like you have abundance coming in, and you have enough to be able to share your wealth with other people. So it's a very open, giving and receiving energy very fluent so this is what she's bringing to the union this optimism but yet there is no movement here so maybe her focus is on the 3d reality as well but let's pull up clarifiers king of cups the base shock again and lover's card okay so over there we got the Queen of Cups in the, his present position. He's thinking about her. The masculine is um, being represented as the King of Cups in her past position. So there's this deep loving bond or communication or exchange of energy that took place in the past that you're both focusing on or bringing into the union in this present moment. However, the, however, the feminine is feeling very insecure at the moment with the base chakra twice. She's bringing this insecurity into the union. 
um, she wants the masculine to be open the way he was in the past, be, you know, show his emotions, um, have that connection flowing between the two. And because there's a sense of a disconnect here in the present moment for her, she doesn't feel safe. So the future position is the lover's card. So this is passion ignited. It is um, that deep sexual um, longing and desire that you feel for your twin flame or true love. So it's like she's waiting for the masculine to return and perhaps he does and that this passion becomes ignited once again. Um, but yeah, let's pull a clarifier here. Okay, what do you mean by... Okay, this one was being a bitch, so let's pick this one. Celebration. Let me just move these over a bit. Okay, so celebration. So three of cups. So the masculine is getting the Three of Cups in the near future position. So that was a bit puzzling for me. So hopefully now we'll get a little bit more clarification for it. All right, so celebration. These three dancing, sorry, these three women dancing in the wind and the rain remind us of that celebration never need depend on the outside circumstances. We need not wait for a special holiday or a formal occasion, not a sunny and cloudless day. True celebration arises from the joy that is first experienced but deep within and spills over into an overflow of song and dance and laughter, and yes, even tears of gratitude. When you choose this card, it indicates that you're becoming more and more available and open to the many opportunities that are to celebrate in life and to spread this by contagion to others. Don't bother about scheduling a party on your calendar. Let your hair down, take your shoes off, and start splashing in the puddles right now. The party's happening all around you. Okay, right away I felt this sense of, you don't need a, you know, a, th a, you know, a reason to celebrate, just to exude that celebration and send that vibration out into the universe. It feels like the feminine is, doesn't feel safe enough to do that at the moment. But if you're able to do that, celebrate life, and the masculine will pick up on that in the near future and help him to overcome whatever fears it is that he needs to overcome. So offer support for sure is what I'm picking up with that. Okay, so what does the masculine bring you into the union? Opportunity beckons, four of cups. So again, you guys are kind of both um, mirroring each other, both turned away. The masculine is more turned towards darkness. We got the moon up here, where the feminine is turned towards the sun, right? So, mirroring, most definitely. So, opportunity beckons. The Four of Cups is, you know, somebody offering um, him an opportunity and he doesn't know whether or not he wants to take it. This is also a card of disconnect, boredom, feeling like things aren't moving. The Strength card, Seven of Cups again, and the Tower, wow. So the Strength card, past position, this is love, kindness, compassion, gentle, nurturing energy in order to transmute a negative environment into a positive one. So he is um, trying to muster up strength or pulling or, you know, tapping into strength from the past in order to make a decision about something in the future. So the Seven of Cups, present position, cruel synchronicity once again. So Seven of Cups, Dorothy, wants to go home to Kansas, right? So she's trying to find that yellow brick road. So it's a lot of confusion at the moment. She knows what she wants. She doesn't know how to get there. She needs to, or he needs to go through the darkness, face his fears, and ultimately he does become victorious, but he is, he needs to reconnect with that divine masculine power. 
um, that he once felt in the past. Because right now, he doesn't feel that strong anymore. So the Tower card, Future Position, this is a sudden change, disruption. Um, so this is a false reality coming, tumbling down. And so it's a very destructive force. So you can't stop the tower. It comes whether or not you're ready for it. And so it's like he is almost like he's hiding or withdrawing because of confusion. He knows he, knows he needs to face something, but is, isn't facing it. He's disconnecting, withdrawing, and that ultimately brings a tower in. So this is the energy he's bringing into the union. Fear. Um, yeah, fear and confusion. All right. So the foundation of the reading is peace. Beautiful. So the foundation is an energy of the past, right? So this is what the reading is built on peace. Oh, no way. And I open it right to the page. Okay. So number 23, peace. So freedom from attachment, radical acceptance. When two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony about them. They are two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savored. So I'm not really feeling a lot of that peace coming, you know, from an external 3D reality um, or mental place. I feel it is within the heart. You know, there's this deep love and connection between the two, and that is where the peace is coming from, right? So it's all this other stuff that is causing fear and withdraw. Okay, so one card for the feminine, Page of Swords, and the masculine. Wow, the moon again. So Page of Swords is a communication card, the double communicator. So the feminine has spoke her truth. Um, this is unemotional. So it is, you know, kind of a detached communication. She knows her truth. Um, she can't be swayed. And this is also making a decision as well. So it's mental clarity. So she may have spoke her truth in the past. And for her, she feels that it gives her ultimate peace. I mean, she is the empress in the present moment. However, she keeps being pulled into negative thoughts, right? So like I said, it's a constant battle, but that peace is always there. Now the masculine is bringing in the moon again, right? So, whoa, whoa. So the moon is coming in in his near future. So ultimately he wants to feel that peace. He wants, um, he wants to face his fears because he knows that once he does, he will rise like that dove there, right? And and be free of the fears. So, like I said, the near future, he will be facing that. Um, and ultimately, it's going to help him remember who he is. Like I said, with the Divine Masculine, he finds himself again. Uh, but the Tower is coming for the Masculine. The, you know, these things that he's been avoiding and ignoring, um, will come back um, and it seems to me it will hit him in the 3d reality um, but it's kind of like it's gonna kick him in the ass uh, to actually start manifesting the reality that he's always desired so the feminine stay out of your mind all right so the crowning energy is wow treasure island so that was a card I remember from last week. So it is 
carried energy, very cool synchronicity, because I named this reading for, what it was it, for the 14th of October until the 28th, I named it Treasure Island, so very cool that it's crowning energy, so let me read that. Oops. Okay. So the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, the result of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains, and the sharing of good fortune. So it says, your relationship is a treasure, providing even more than you need. But you may not see that right now. No matter how long you've been together, you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourself and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. The message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. Wow. Again, with celebrating love, right? Three times now. So stay open. Keep love in your heart. Um, and like I said, ultimately, that is the glue that is holding this connection together. So one card for the feminine, nine of swords, and the masculine magician again. So the master manifester, that's what he gets as a final outcome. So there is this desire to create a new reality. He's discovering his powers. He is tapping into the field of creativity. So he is honing his um, powers, basically, is what I see here, and focusing his attention on this ultimate goal of Treasure Island, right? Being together in harmony and peace. However, the feminine is bringing in the nine of swords. So again, being trapped in the mind, that constant battle. So the near future, you will be finding stillness. So feminine, don't worry, okay? Nine of swords is the inability to sleep, staying up all night, thinking, constant thinking, replaying things, right? So you, you desire this treasure island as well. Um, and, but you're not seeing it, is the message of this card. Um, you don't see it right now, but it is coming. All right, so heart-centered energy is yin. Very cool. So Queen of Cups is present position for the masculine. Divine Feminine present position for the Feminine. So it is, you know, definite strong yin energy that I'm picking up here. And I believe last week, um, the Masculine and Feminine were both in the, not last week, actually, it's still right now. Very cool synchronicity once again. I keep forgetting that this is an energy update. Um, so the both Feminine and Masculine are in yin, a receptive energy. So let me read that real quick. So the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking cues, the art of conscious allowing. So let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness and conscious surrender. By yielding the rings, you will find yourself effortlessly mo moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. So I definitely feel that receptivity, right? You know, there is a mirroring happening here, both going within, but using your heart to guide you. Um, so love of one another is definitely playing a very strong part right now. So, whoops, so feminine, um, find that heart space uh, and withdraw from in, any negativity. Return to self, right? There's a sense of this integration that happens 
um, when the masculine discover, rediscovers his power, his strength. So hold space, definitely. So one card for the feminine, the fool, and the high priest. Very cool. So the high priest is, um, I like to see it as masculine in the 5D. So, you know, there's a sense of, you know, this yin energy is drawing out um, this spirituality, this leadership within the masculine as heart-centered, and that's what the Twin Flame Connection is all about, is about, you know, moving to higher levels of consciousness. You help each other to, um, to ascend and expand. So there is crown chakra activation here again, so this connection is definitely mirroring back his wholeness. Um, the feminine is bringing in the fool, which is zero point. Um, notice how the, the energy is turned away again. So the feminine is ready to take a leap of faith. She is detached. She um, no, has no expectations. She's just ready to begin this new life. Now remember, the universe card is in the mask in this past position. So I'm, I said that, you know, there's a sense that the next stage would be for the fool card to come back in. So the feminine is bringing that fool zero point energy into the connection, being receptive. So the, through the law of attraction, you are drawing the masculine towards you. The universe needs to fill a void, right? Okay, so as an overall energy for the reading, we have time to go. I think that was a card as well um, in the reading that I did for 14th to 28th. So there's a sense that the, the feminine and masculine are moving away from are letting go of um, karmic relationships or letting go of fears, facing their fears. Okay. So the meaning, endings, completion, completions, walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn from or experience. So the, the relationship message, it's over or at the very least this form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person. This is a time of letting go, of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. That doesn't mean anything is lost, although this card could speak to a breakup, drifting apart, or the end of a soul contract. It is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of a new beginning. If you want something deeper, walk away. So definite detachment is what I was feeling here. Just letting go, right? So you can see that letting go um, in the near future for the feminine and in reintegrating the, the halves of herself, right? So um, on the masculine side, we can see him thinking about... Um, moving forward ultimately he does with the knight of pentacles there but as an overall energy you know both are moving forward away from negative and it's because of the treasure island right it's movement towards the tre treasure island so i hope this made sense uh, let me know if it helped at all I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, I also just want to mention that I'm no longer doing the infinity spread or the extended um, divine masculine and feminine readings. They are taking way too much energy out of me. So um, I'll be changing the reading and price list uh, and making a video for that a little bit later on. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, and so I'm going to be booking readings again pretty soon. Um, I just have two readings that I need to finish up on and then I will be um, booking a new uh, cycle. All right, so I love you guys and cheers. Peace.